everybody, I'm Katie, and today I'm gonna to show you how I put together one of my very favorite dinner salads. It's a buffalo chicken salad. It is delicious, full of protein, and very filling. So, let's do this. I'm gonna start out with a plate full of spring mix lettuce. Um, there's kind of a lot of it. It's a dinner salad, so it's a big salad. So start out with your lettuce and then all the rest of my ingredients except for the chicken which is going to go in the very middle it's going to go around the perimeter of the salad and i just think that makes it look really pretty and i've heard it said that well plated food tastes better and i think i agree with that so anyway so the first thing i'm going to put on is i have two different kinds of microgreens here these are my very favorite sunflower microgreens. Put them on a lot of different salads. And then these are buckwheat microgreens that I've been growing recently and I really like them. I think they're really pretty and they taste good. And also they're easy to harvest, which I can't say for all of the microgreens that I've been growing lately. So I'm gonna put these on sort of opposite corners of each other. So we've got microgreens on both sides. All right. And my next ingredient here, I've got some chopped up bacon. Put that around the outside there. One of my very favorite ingredients. Can't see that very well. <laughs> it's just a sliced up hard boiled egg. Kind of arrange that on the plate so it's all spread out. It looks pretty. All right, see how that's going so far. Got some red onion, of course, because put it on almost everything. Get that in a nice looking pile there. Shredded carrots. So we've got lots of vegetables going on in the salad. So we've got some nutrition happening here. It's good stuff. I have some beautiful multicolored cherry tomatoes. Oh, dropped a couple. Get those over on the corner here. And I like to arrange them so they're mostly face up. And I do that just because it's easier to stab it with your fork that way, I think. Um, ooh, looking so nice. Oh, I forgot a tomato. Stray tomato. Get that on there. All right. Next, I've got some crumbled blue cheese. Get a good pile of that on here. I'm not going to use a crazy amount here because I'm going to use blue cheese dressing in the end, which also has blue cheese in it. Um, if you're interested in my blue cheese dressing recipe, watch the very beginning of the hand salads episode. I made it almost exactly the same this time, except I want a little extra kick. So I threw some, a couple heads of, no, a couple cloves of garlic in the food processor along with a green onion. Food processed that for a couple minutes and then threw it in with the dressing as well. And last time, I used a buttermilk substitute. This time, I had buttermilk on hand, so I used that. All right, so this is all of our toppings on there. How pretty that looks. I just think it looks so nice. And then I've got some chicken. So this chicken is leftover grilled chicken that has been seasoned just with salt and some cayenne. So to make it a spicy buffalo chicken salad, what I'm gonna do is I am going to add this to it, this is Frank's Red Hot Wings Hot Buffalo. They make just regular buffalo too if you're not that into the spice. And then, like some people in this household, you could add something like this, Dave's Ultimate Insanity Hot Sauce, if you wanted it to be a little bit spicier, but the hot buffalo is good enough for me. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit of this on my chicken. Just enough so that um, when I toss it, all of this is gonna coat the chicken really nicely. Oh, I lost a piece here. All right, 
Yeah, that is looking good. All right, that is all nice and saucy, but not too much. There's not really much sauce left in the bottom of the bowl. Looks just right. So what I'm gonna do is just take some of this, put it right in the center of my salad to round this out. Sometimes um, I will heat up the chicken before I put on the salad. If you want a hot chicken salad, you can do that too. Ooh, lost a piece of chicken over here in my microgreens. Get back in your spot. All right, let's see. I think that is looking like enough chicken for me. So there it is. Our final product, spicy buffalo chicken salad. Um, one of the things that I do that's really similar to this salad is a steak salad. So I'll have leftover steak and just put that in the center. Um, if I do that, I usually also add an avocado, which you could totally add to this salad as well. But I hope that you give it a shot and that you enjoy it. I know that I'm going to and Keep watching AADL TV. See you later.